Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we are checking out a new to me rummage sale in Glen Ridge, New Jersey. Let's do it. Oh my god, they do still have them? Take one. Are you sure? Absolutely. Are you sure? Absolutely. Which one do you want? Let's get moving. Yeah. Grab and go. Grab and go. These are plastic? Oh, that looks funny. Are you sure, Michelle? Yeah. Take one. Yeah. I got one. What happened to the other? Oh, yeah. I was going to say what happened to the other. What? Do you know why? Before it goes in your bag. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, nice. You want the money for this too? Yes. Please. You have to pay it here? Mm -hmm. Those are do you know why that one's 20 and this one's 10? I do not. I do not. Would you take 10 for that one too? No, we can't do that tonight. Today. Okay. Uh, that's why weird. is this 20 and that one's 10? That's oh, right. it's reversed actually. Because that This is the right this. box though. Yeah. Have to give it it's to okay. it. It's okay. We have to do that. We have to do yeah. that. Thank you. You're very welcome. So if you want this, it's 10. If you want this one, I'll Because that was the original price yeah. on it. So if you want it. Oh. I think I'm just going to take this okay. one. Maybe. Why? But I still don't know why that one's different. But uh, that's okay. Thank you. That one was missing something. I don't know. This is very pretty. Four dollars? Yeah, that's made. I can't tell what that says. Is there stuff over oh menswear? That's men's. Okay. I'm gonna look around, thank you. It's like really weird how this works. I don't know if you have to pay separately everywhere. Huh? Do you have to pay separately everywhere? By department. Uh, by department. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Thank you. Such an odd, such an odd store or sale, I should say. I'm gonna go back to this uh, this section. This might be the best section, to be honest. Let's see what this is. It's not marked. How about these green bowls? Syracuse. I'm gonna get this. Cute. I like that. Where are you moving from? Uh, from uh. Thank you. 
Yeah, these are really good deal. <laughs> Ten bucks is a really good deal. <laughs> Shoes are four. And this is there too? Yes. Okay. This is six. These are adorable. These are these brand new little, the little Oops. Excuse me. These are such an eight petite. That's nice, but. Mm -hmm. cute. What are these? Bowden. Bowden pants. Those are cute. New with tags. Four dollars. Some of these are dresses. Oh, this is like a vintage Lily Pulitzer. Sort of vintage. It's an older one. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Trina Turk, $248 for pants. Yes, $4. Yes, sir. Re. We'll get those for $4. Hi. Yeah, seven. Melissa McCarthy. Talbot's, Talbot's skimmer. Mm, better not mess with white. White stuff can get dirty. Talbot's vest. Oh, this is a cute vest. I don't know what that brand is or anything. That's Ralph Lawrence. Are you part of the line or no? Uh, no, I'm mean, you can also cash you in. Oh, okay, that's okay. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah. Thank you. Are you done? Yep, Okay, guys, so pretty quick in and out of this rummage sale. Um, it was a little different in the sense that you had to pay at every different station, which is kind of odd. I don't think I've ever been to a, a sale quite like that. Uh, and also, since it was my first time there, I had a little disadvantage because I did not know the lay of the land, basically. Um, so had I known about the upstairs portion, I probably would have um, maybe gone there first. Uh, anyway, this is what I got from the sale. From the boutique room, I picked up this vintage Lily Pulitzer. Now, I don't remember, I paid $24 for everything in the boutique room, and I know the pants were $4, but I don't know if, I think maybe the dress was $4 too. Um, I think I got six items for $24. So I think everything may have been $4 a piece. Um, anyway, <coughs> excuse me. I picked up this beauty, this vintage Lily Pulitzer dress. However, it does have one very small stain, which hopefully will come out. It's got one very small stain and it does have a little wear to the fabric right near there, 
which is kind of odd. I don't know if maybe someone tried to previously scrub that off um, or what happened, uh, but you know, I will have to take a little less for this probably due to that. This is the tag on it. It is a size 12, but still a pretty awesome dress if you ask me. I got these Skylar Blake shoes made in Italy. Not a whole lot listed or sold with this brand. I'm not sure where they were originally sold. They're size 40, so probably about a US 9. But these are very gently used, and they're just a really nice loafer. A really, really nice loafer, um, snake print, like I said, made in Italy, which usually indicates quality. That's why I picked them up. I did luck out. I mean, the shoe table was a little bare by the time I walked in there, but I did luck out with this pair of Rothy's in a size seven. Um, these are in really good condition, like super gently used, if used at all, to be honest. These are just in great, great condition, these Rothy's. So excited to find those, especially at the price. Um, let me see, one, two, three, four, maybe I got five items. So the dress must have been more. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, um, Bowden pants, new. That actually still had the tag. Pants four, top four. I didn't see a top that went with these. So maybe someone else purchased it. I'm not sure. I'm going to take this little, little thing right off of here. But these are super fun. Um, US size four. These are a linen pant. Let's see if it has the name. It doesn't, it just says glorious British style, uh, US size four. But these I just think are so fun. They're like a wide leg linen pant for $4. You can't beat that, right? You just can't beat that. New with tags. Uh, and then I picked up these, these uh, Trina Turk, which I've sold this brand before, but I don't come across it super often. These are just a pair of like work pants, also a size four. It was probably uh, owned by the same person. These have a, these are the Davin pant, D-A-V-O-N, uh, with a $248 price, price tag on these bad boys. So these are like a wide leg, you know, like a work pant. They are, I want to say they're lined. Maybe they're not lined. I don't know what's going on here. I think they are lined. Oh, wait, maybe that's like, oh, that's the ankle. It's like a split kind of ankle with a lining. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. So these are like a super wide leg pant, but they're pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, not too shabby. And then the last two things from this sale, I picked up this Vilroy, uh, this big piece of hair stuck in the tape. Not mine, by the way. Um, Vilroy and Bach Country Collection um, Florea little teapot, five bucks. Not sure the, the comps on this particular style or pattern, I should say, but for five bucks, I picked this up. And I did grab one of these um, Mackenzie Child sets. My friend got another one of the sets. It was weird because um, one set was priced 20 and that didn't even have nearly as much, but the lady said that they mispriced. So I don't know. Uh, this set looks like it was maybe gently used, maybe never used at all. It is a melamine set. I think it actually was used. It looks like there's some like water, um, like water spots from like maybe the dishwasher. So anyhow, this set has the plate, the bowl, the cup. supposed to be like a spoon and a 
fork in with this and I don't see it. Uh, unless it fell out in my bag, it did not. So it is missing the spoon and the fork. So I don't know. I'm thinking I'm not going to get a lot for this. I'm going to, I'm going to say maybe 20 to 25 plus shipping, um, due to the fact that it's missing the spoon and the fork. So we shall see. And the fact that it's used. So I don't think this is going to be like a great for $10. I probably should have left this behind. I get so excited when I see Mackenzie Childs, which is clearly a problem. <laughs> Anyhow, I don't have to put back in here. Okay, and I almost forgot. I did want to show you guys this too. I popped into a Goodwill real fast and I found this little teapot for $3.99 which is weird because I don't even see the sticker on it, but they had the shelves all lined with the prices. Like it was price per shelf. It was kind of, kind of a unique Goodwill. Anyway, I paid $3.99 for this. This is a Lennox Village teapot. Does have a couple issues, but these seem to do pretty well. Um, so I think I'm going to list it in auction with its flaws and all and see how it goes. So that is going to wrap up this video. It was a quick one, guys. But I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Helps the channel. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time. Bye.